Moving on to news from Afghanistan, Afghan security forces averted a major Taliban attack on capital Kabul early on Tuesday. This comes even as fierce clashes are being reported from many parts of the country between the army and the insurgents. Afghan army claimed that they have killed at least three suicide bombers who tried to attack the house of a former governor of southern Helmand province. The army said the attackers were gunned down after a fire exchange which continued all through the night and there were no other casualties. Meanwhile, in northern Kunduz, the Afghan army has reportedly made further advances in capturing more areas from the Taliban. The forces have also begun distributing essentials, including food packets, to thousands who were displaced in the battle. Meanwhile, the UN has strongly condemned the US bombing on a Doctors Without Borders hospital in the city. 22 people, including staff members and patients, were killed in the incident on Saturday. The US called it a profound tragedy and said the strike was carried at the request of Afghan army. The UN, which called for an impartial inquiry, hinted that the incident could amount to a war crime. The Secretary General recalls that hospitals and medical personnel are explicitly protected under international humanitarian law and he calls for a thorough and impartial investigation into the attack in order to ensure accountability. With the Taliban gaining momentum, there is an increase in the levels of insecurity among Afghans.